What's up everyone, Tim Alma, I'm Junior here, Milam Asylum. I was watching this weird ass video, and uh, so I decided to try it. But first off, we're going to do the review on it. And this is, uh, watch, Ciroc Apple. Uh, made with vodka infused with apple and other natural flavors imported. From fine French grapes, five times distilled, and then got this badass chicken with a shovel with grapes underneath of it. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, 70 proof, 35% alcohol by volume. Uh, Siroc apple is a rich tasting spirit made with vodka, distilled five times from fine wrench grapes, finished in a tailor made copper pot still in southern France. The vodka is masterfully infused with a distinctive blend of apple and other natural flavors resulting in a taste experience that is lusciously different and elegantly smooth. So they claim. Nothing of else is important. So let's just get into it, shall we? Oh, by the way, if you are curious, this is $35.95, so $36 for this one bottle here. Yes. Expensive. I know. But it gets even more expensive than that. And I will show you why here in one minute. And they got their same emblem right there on their cap. There again, on the actual lid, and it's plastic. They should have made it metal and corked it. And that would have been fucking badass. Just FYI, guys, you guys go through all this trouble to do cool shit with your bottles and stuff, but then you just make a lame ass lid. Wow, that smells exactly like a Jolly Rancher green apple. Mm. All right, so we are going to taste test. Boom. All right. So it doesn't smell quite like the green apple it did in the bottle. It still has a distinctive green apple Jolly Rancher smell to it, but not as much. Holy shit, that's fucking amazing. So, it tastes just like out of the bottle. Sorry, I paused it. I had to go get me a, a thing. This is the only funnel-like thing I got. It's a lid to some shit. Anyways, so. The reason I poured it into this glass and did a taste test. Now. It's actually really good. Um... I'm gonna slap this bitch with a 8.5. Yeah. So, Ciroc Apple gets an 8.5 for flavor. Good job, Ciroc. Now, you guys, I bought a whole pack of Jolly Ranchers and took every one of them out. Now, I watched this in a video. The guy used 32. I'm gonna use all of the green apples that were in the bag. Except for three of them, because my daughter stole two and one was open. So right now I got 56 green apple uh, Jolly Ranchers. I'm gonna put them in here. I probably didn't put take enough out, but we will see. Um, so we're gonna put them in here. Well, you can see I'm halfway right now, and I'm getting a little full. I don't know. I might have to dump a little bit more out, but that's why I got to silt it so I can pour it back if I need to. Yes, sir. I had one that didn't fit, and I had to like force it in there. <laughs> I was like, 
Yeah, it doesn't fit. What the fuck? Crazy, right? So this bag of Jolly Ranchers was nine dollars. No, I think it was on sale. So six dollars. Um, big old variety bag. Now I'm wondering, like, if you did like got like a watermelon type vodka or some kind of a watermelon flavored uh, drink or uh, one of the many other flavors, the blue raspberry, and we did the same kind of thing, if it, how it's going to taste. Now, I don't know how this is going to taste. The guy in the video, I did not see the results. He just made it and then he poured it into a shot glass and it was like this really cool color. It was the same brand of alcohol and, and Jolly Ranchers. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, the thing with this alcohol, after I do this, I gotta let it sit for 24 hours and shake it every six in the freezer. So it just hangs out in the freezer for 24 hours and we shake it up. So, yeah. So you will be back in 24 hours and I will let you know how that goes. All right, there's 56 in there right now yeah it's crazy right um, I didn't I had to pour this much out to get them fit and if you can see there's the line there so I didn't have to dump any back into it um, I don't know how much that is I'd say six ounces probably six to eight ounces um, now we're going to put this in the Freezer for 24 hours and shake every six. So, and it has to be in there for 24 hours. I already said that, but yeah, shake this thing. Jesus. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is crazy. There it goes, look at that. Like a lava lamp. Look at that, look at that guys, lava lamp. Lava lamp, this is what we do. All right, it's starting to turn green and green. It's starting to turn green in color, obviously. All right, we're gonna go throw this in the freezer now. And we'll see you back in 24 hours. So it's been 27 hours in the freezer. And I've been shaking it every, every four hours, roughly. Um, so here it is. You can still see some of the jollies stuck inside. Ah. You got one stuck in the top there. All right, let's see what this shit looks like. Now, in the video I watched, this guy dumped it out after 24 hours with 32 of these. And it was like a weird green, almost, I don't know if it was slushy or not, but I think it was just, I know it was very syrupy. Dude, look at that. It's so syrupy. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Look at that. Alright. Taste is our uh, pretty much smells the same as it did before. No difference there. Very uh slimery. I bet it's like a Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Wow. You still get a, a kick of alcohol in there, but it tastes even more like Jolly Ranchers than did before. But in reality, it doesn't really taste much different than it did before. Just, just a little bit more sweeter. So, not really much of a change. Um, I 
Uh, so I had just made the uh, I had just made this product dangerous, and and it already was. But now having this um, uh, fusion. Um, you didn't, I didn't need to do it. Like, honestly, it didn't need to happen. There, there, like, really is not a whole lot of difference. Um, this just slightly, um, made it a little bit more sweeter than it already was. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and with this together product, I'm going to give it a 9.6. So, that's your review. I'm Tim Allen Milan Jr. And until next time, fuck off. So I left it out in the open and just let it uh, do its thing because I was kind of done with it. So I took it out and there's no more Jolly Ranchers. I mean, but there is. But look at that dripping <laughs> but they have completely dissolved um, but I just threw it in a box and uh, was gonna get rid of it well you know not get rid of it but done it. anyways but let's do another taste test see how it tastes maybe I didn't like now that they're completely dissolved Almost. Damn. Okay, now I'm getting nothing but straight Jolly Ranger. Okay, that's a solid 10 out of 10. Alright, I, uh, I highly recommend you don't put it in the freezer, you just leave it out in the open. And it's way better. Yeah. So go ahead and do that. Until next time, fuck off.